Congratulations, Jerome. Thank you. How many launches are there in a day? A dozen? Sometimes more. You're the only one who watches every one of them. If you're going to pretend like you don't care, don't look up. The most unremarkable of events. Jerome Morrow, Navigator First Class, is about to embark on a one-year manned mission to Titan, the 14th moon of Saturn. A highly prestigious assignment, although for Jerome, selection was virtually guaranteed at birth. He's blessed with all the gifts required for such an undertaking, a genetic quotient second to none. No, there is truly nothing remarkable about the progress of Jerome Morrow. Except that I am not Jerome Morrow. I was conceived in the Riviera. Not the French Riviera. The Detroit variety. They used to say that a child conceived in love has a greater chance of happiness. They don't say that anymore. I'll never understand what possessed my mother to put her faith in God's hands rather than those of her local geneticist. Ten fingers, ten toes, that's all that used to matter. Not now. Now, only seconds old, the exact time and cause of my death was already known. Neurological condition, 60% probability. Manic depression, 42% probability. Attention deficit disorder, 89% probability. Heart disorder, 99% probability. Early fatal potential. Life expectancy, 30.2 years. 30 years. The name for the certificate? Anton? No, um, Vincent Anton. That's a good name. I know he'll do something. He'll do something. Vincent? From an early age, I came to think of Vincent? myself as others thought of me. Vincent? Chronically ill. Every skinned knee and runny nose was treated as if it were life-threatening. I'm sorry, the insurance won't cover it. If he fell... But I was told that everything was I really wish there was something I could do. 